of it. Just keep it up. Salam everyone, we're here in our headquarters at Abraham's. Um, I'm going to just grab one of our lambs and talk a little bit about it. I've, we, I came down here for a meeting um, and we just thought, you know what, let's just shoot a quick uh, impromptu video uh, to show you a little bit of you know, how, the, how the system is and how we butcher and a little bit about the animal. So follow me into the fridge. Okay, so our lambs are all here. I'm going to grab this one, this guy here. It's a beautiful, beautiful looking lamb. So, this is a 17.5 kg lamb. Exactly, uh, almost a perfect weight really. Um, between 18 and 21 is the, is the kind of industry standard. But we find that around the 15 kilo mark is a really good size lamb. Now, this is organic certified. We have uh, an organic stamp here, you can see, so it's GB Organic. Um, and it comes from a wonderful farm uh, in uh, Redditch, which is just uh, sort of west, never east, really, we, no, east of uh, Birmingham. And the farmer there is biodynamic certified, organic certified. He's from um, Zimbabwe. He's got a really good understanding of halal. He's got a really good understanding of, you know, what it takes to raise animals. He raises a breed called Clins, which are um, uh, a typical breed for that area. They thrive on, on grass. Um, and he basically, none of his animals are fed anything apart from grass, hay, and silage that's made on the farm. Um, and it has to actually come from a farm as well. So generally what happens, the boys get an order, they bring the lambs in, and they start breaking them down. So the most precious part on the lamb are the legs. Not my favourite cut to be honest, but we'll go into that in a minute. And what happens is we take the legs that take the legs off and they generally are kept whole for roasting. Most people want them whole. We do get some customers who ask us for a leg diced on bone or a leg uh, diced boneless or leg mince. So we would debone the whole leg, mince that all off, and we'll keep uh, and that, that customer will have that, but that's specified. Um, but generally we sell them as, as whole. Then comes the uh, flank or the belly. So we get this trim here. A lot of the time, this is actually wasted, um, but we trim it down, clean it all up, and it goes into the, to the mints, part of the mints. We also have in here, you can see the kidneys that have been left, a little bit of liver that's actually left in there as well. But the kidneys are left in the carcass. This fat is a fantastic fat for cooking with. It's, it's, it's like a tallow, but it's, um, uh, it's like a sheep, uh, 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 obviously a lamb version of tallow, and it's wonderful to cook with. I use it all the time. Uh, but we do actually waste quite a bit of it, which is quite sad. Um, people don't really know the benefits and the beauty of it right now. Um, but I think things are changing. Then you come up to the ribs. So it's in there, you've got the ribs here. Um, uh, and that from those ribs, you'll get your rib cut, which is from this side, and then this side. And roll over to the back, you'll get your chops. Here's the, here you'll get uh, a section um, which is called the back chop, but you can also take that as a fillet. And then this side, because the lamb will be split in half like this, so you get both sides um, falling back like that. You cut, cut on the bandsaw, and then it will come down to chops and ribs. And then, coming to my favorite piece of lamb, which is the lamb shoulder. Full of fat, full of delicious sinew. My favorite way to do lamb is um, chucking uh, a bunch of different herbs and spices all over it, depending on what I fancy, and slow cooking it in the oven for six, to eight, even 10 hours on 120 degrees uh, Celsius. That's my favorite way of doing it. And that for me is the best, but we also do that diced on bone, chopped up for, um, for curries and for uh, stews. And then my mom's favorite bit, the neck. She loves bony meat and the delicious uh, sinews that come with it. So what we would do, we would cut that off with a bandsaw there, and then this neck would be taken off and sliced or uh, chopped up into diced on bone. Wonderful. Wonderful for soups, wonderful for curries, wonderful for all that kind of saucy stuff. So yeah, that's basically just talking about a lamb. I'm not a butcher, so I'm not gonna to touch this and spoil this lamb. Um, if I, sorry about the popping, that's the fly zapper. And um, you know, if I was to do it at home, it's a bit more rough cut, I use a, uh, a uh, cleaver and just chop it, um, rather than the nice neat bandsaw that we've got here. Um, but yeah, this is just a little, 
uh, insight into you know our area, how we're working. The butchers are you know coming into their own now. We took them on as young guys, um, and they're really coming into their own now. We've got uh, Bilal, we've got Musa, we've got Hamza, um, a bunch of our you know real, real, real good uh, guys that are with us. I'm really getting messed up with the concentration because I can see a fly being zapped to death over there. But at least you know that we're killing all the bugs. So bang, 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 shots fired. Uh, thank you, and hopefully we'll speak soon. All right, nice one. <laughs>